have 18 different task forces out there right now that are using dry ice technology in the decontamination of boats, boom, skimmers, ships, uh, basically anything that got dirty we can clean using dry ice. Um, upwards of 30 different dry ice blasting units are out there working today. In early May we approached BP with this idea for the, using this technology on the oil spill. It's a very green technology and they were very receptive to giving it a try. Very impressed with the fact that there's no additional waste that's added to the waste stream. Uh, you're not creating more additional waste than cleaning up the original spill. So they're very, they're very pleased with that. And we're frankly, I was surprised they were willing to give it a try. It showed a lot of forethought on their part to try and reduce the impact to the environment by reducing the waste stream. Uh, this is the largest dry ice blasting project since dry ice has been around in the past 20 years. The technology uh, has been very well received by the owners of the vessels, by the Coast Guard, by BP, and by the EPA. All the indications we have is it's, it's a new technology. The oil spill response is probably here to stay.